Welcome back to High School Boys Basketball on DouglasCountyDigest.com. Chris Patton and Luke Johnson. We're in Arcola tonight where the Arthur Lovington Knights have a 30 to 21 lead over the Arcola Purple Riders after one half of play. Our leading scorers, our, uh, leading scorer so far for Arcola, Colin Seaman has eight, Wyatt Fischel with five, Chase Strader with four, Freddie Moreno and Cole Hutton each have two, and for Arthur Lovington, Curtis Plank has eight, Avery Schrock has six, Clayton Hahn and Jeremy Plank each have five, Tyler Shearing with three, Caleb Schrock with two, Colton Eakley with one, and uh, Luke, I bet if you told Chad Graves at, uh, before the game that if uh, Tyler Shearing had three after one half a play, he'd probably sign up for that. Oh, most definitely. One of the uh, leading scorers around Douglas County in the Central Illinois area, only three points in the first half. Uh, your team's winning that battle right away, which is a uh, nice bonus. They ended the half really well and uh, score a couple baskets to put this lead down to nine. And now they want to come out strong and hopefully pin Arthur down low and get a, a good jump on this lead. Knights showing some patience here with their first possession in the second half. A trap there in the corner by the Purple Riders defense. Ball does go out of bounds off them, so the Knights will retain. After one quarter of play, we're tied at 15 all. Now, uh, after halftime, it's 30 to 21. So uh, the Knights outscored Arcola 15 to six there in the second quarter with some of those Arcola points coming pretty late. Pass floated across, drive to the lane, cut through some defenders, and Curtis Plank. He's got 10 now, and that was what he'd had some trouble with in the first half, driving to the basket and getting shots blocked. That time he gets that one down. Drive on the other end, we're gonna get foul called against Tyler Shuri. And that's what I like about Curtis Plank is he had an open shot even after the bad pass. But he realized that maybe he's not hitting very well from the outside behind the arc. He hasn't made a whole bunch of jump shots and his team needs a basket. So he drives to the basket and gets an easy layup. Chase Strader going to the free throw line for two shots after a foul called on Arthur's Tyler Shuri. First one is good. Chase Strader has five points now. 32-22, 7.05 left to go in the third. The Knights have a 10 point lead. We'll see if Strader, Chase Strader can get it back down to single digits. Shot put up and bounce around, but does go down. He's got six now, his team has 23. It's a nine point lead for the visitors. And there's a turnover taken away and almost lost again. Nice job of Austin Schaefer playing defensive back there, cutting that one off. Wyatt Fischel gets it into the corner and then it goes right through the hands of Colin Seaman. Bad, bad time for that. It's, you never want to see a turnover if you're a coach or a fan, but that was a rough time for that. He had a chance to maybe cut into this lead even further. Tyler Shearing has it, dishes it off, number 11, Avery Schrock. Into the corner now with 12. Curtis Plank, he feeds it inside to the big man, Yeekley, who misses. Ball goes around. Arcola has a hard time tonight just corralling that ball a few times. It's slipping off their hands. They get it, though, and it's passed up ahead to 20, Chase Strader. He works off the screen, gives it to 33, Austin Schaefer, gets it back out to 12, Wyatt Fischel. Avery Schrock guarding Fischel tightly. Seaman has it now, kind of at that wing area. Guarded by Tyler Shearing. Can't really decide what to do. Puts up a shot. It goes down. Seaman's done a nice job of finding him some space for himself tonight. He's done it a couple times. Maybe using his shoulder or his arm, but that time he just does a nice move, gets open, and switches his shot. Great shooter under pressure. We saw him against uh, the Central A&M in the first game where he was under some duress and still able to come away with great shots and make them. Arcola has the Arthur Levington lead down to seven now, 5.39 left to go. There's a nice cut and pass, and it doesn't go down. Good rebound, though, fought for, but tipped away. And that was taken away by Clayton Strader there, got in the way of that pass. Fischel with it now, waiting for a teammate to get up. Before he kind of does it, he's kind of taking his time. Shot block from behind. Arthur has it, throws a touchdown ahead. It goes off the backboard, but then it goes off the shin of Colin Seaman. Tried, tried to throw a touchdown pass to the quarterback, Tyler Shuring. Doesn't, uh, you know, hits the bottom, hits the bottom of the backboard, mm -hmm. bounces down, and it looks like it was gonna go into Seaman's hands. Instead, it went off his shin. 
And goes out of bounds. An unfortunate bounce. Few of those tonight for Arcola. Mm -hmm. Shearing puts up a jumper, kicks his leg, gets free. Tyler Shearing now has five, 34-25. Back to a nine point Arthur Levington lead. Five minutes left to go in the third quarter. Shot put up and it goes down. Three pointer for Colin Seaman. He's got 13 tonight. 34-28, it's down to six point lead. And we say a lot about Arthur's hot shooting, but you can't Big say block. enough. Big block, Arthur Levington's able to get it back. Shearing has it in the corner, he puts up a three, no good. He's gonna fight, try and get that one back. Tried to step in front of Chase Strader, he can't. Official moves it ahead, it's now with three Seaman. Big chance here for Arcola if that goes down. Kind of forced one there. Seaman came up short and then we get a flying cross body block there by Wyatt Fishel, but he's quick to help up Jeremy Plank, trying to play defensive back there and take that one away. A little late on the steal attempt. Yes. A high speed collision there is gonna result in a foul on Wyatt Fishel, his second, team's first here in the second half. Shearing inbounds it to 12, Curtis Plank. Over to 23, Caleb Schrock. Back to 21, Tyler Shearing. Feeds it right back into Caleb Schrock. He thinks about turning, but loses it. And Fischel holds on. He's kind of trapped in the corner, tries to get away, and he will be able to. Arcola defense coming up big here in the third quarter. And this is kind of one of the few times we've seen Arthur kind of pin back on their heels a little bit with defensive pressure from the other side. Things have kind of changed around, and uh, Arcola has become the aggressor. And with that happening, Dale Shearing is going to call a timeout. Arthur Levin is going to take a full timeout. Just uh, one second under four minutes left to go here in the third quarter. And uh, Arcola has cut it down to six, and they've, they've become the aggressor here. And other than that last shot by Colin Seaman, I mean, he's one of those guys. We said a whole bunch about Arthur shooters. Colin Seaman is one of those guys you do not want to see start hitting shots from the outside. I mean, the, the basket just opens up. It's like throwing a ball into the ocean for him. He's, I mean, it's just easy. It comes naturally to him when he starts making those shots. And Arthur's defense actually might need to tighten up a little bit from the outside. Arcola set a couple of good screens to free up some guys. They've had a couple of nice drives to the hoop and uh, they just haven't had the same success they were having in the first half. Yeah, it looked like for Arcola, it looked like Wyatt Fisher ran into the locker room. It looked like maybe down here in the corner, he got poked in the eye or something. He was kind of, he was a little shaken up after he got that last, uh, got it away and then was able to avoid the defender and get the ball off to his team. It looked like Freddie Moreno went to the scorer's table uh, during that timeout and Fischl ran off. I wonder if he's got a contact issue or something. Uh, you know, he ran by, he jogged down there by himself, so it wasn't like it was, you know, it wasn't like it was a leg or anything like that, but we'll see uh, how long he's out and see what Freddie Moreno could do while he's in there as the Purple Riders have cut it to six. Clayton Strader gonna inbound underneath his basket, gets it out to Seaman, he puts it up. We're gonna have foul called on the, uh, I don't think setting the screen there. The two physical trying to get through the screen. 21 Tyler Shuri, his second team's third. The foul was called not on the three point shot, but on the trying to get through the screen. A little give and go there by Arcola. Kicks it right back out though. I thought they were going to go for kind of a quick shot there. 21 Clayton Strader off to Chase Strader. He drives around and kicks it back out. 33 Austin Schaefer with it. He gets into the lane, forces one up, but it rolls down. Austin Schaefer absorbs the contact and puts the shot up. It's down to a four point Arthur Lovington lead. Caleb Shock thought about it, but he passed it off instead to Curtis Plank. Long pass, skips across to number four, Jeremy Plank. Driving to the basket is Tyler Shearing. He absorbs the contact, his shot doesn't go down. Caleb Schrock went up, got the rebound, and uh, can't get his shot back up, and then it's taken away by Arcola. Arcola's defense frustrating. Arthur Lovington's offense here in the third quarter. Seaman puts one up, it goes down! Colin Seaman's heating up. It is a one point. Arthur Lovington lead 34-33 over Arcola. 2.54 left to go here in the third quarter. It was just a great job by Colin Seaman realizing that he's feeling it right now, taking a good shot. 
having it go down in their defense. The defense is what's creating it for them. They're playing really good defense at the moment, keeping Tyler. Arthur away from the middle of the lane. Tyler Sheridan tried to go to the basket, pulled back on it. Looked like he was going to go, go down to his knees or something, but he does keep his dribble, so Arthur Leverton holds on to it. Schrock has thought of, Caleb Schrock has thought about it a couple times. He's hesita hesitated each time because he's not really a three-point shooter. He's more of an attacker, and he kind of hesitated to get in there when he thought about taking it, and instead he travels. And it is going to be another turnover for Arthur Lovington here in the third quarter. And it's tough. Arthur's now on the receiving end of the aggressive defense, and at the moment they're not handling it too well. Wyatt Fischel back from the locker room. Here comes a three-pointer. It's short. He kind of threw that one quickly. I don't know if Seaman really got a good handle. It looked like he pushed it more than shot it. Here comes Arthur now. Sure, he does it, and then gets fouled. That's the last thing our Cole needed. Tyler Shuring makes it. We got a whistle. See, we're getting a little conference from the refs here. What exactly was the foul called? The basket is going to count. We've seen that motion. There is a foul against Avery Schrock after the shot goes down. So foul against Avery Schrock for Arthur Levington. Tyler Shuring's three-pointer counts. It's the second foul on Avery Schrock. Team's fourth here, but the Arthur Levington lead jumps back up to four. It's 37-33. Two minutes left to go in the third quarter. Fisher going to drive to the basket and get a foul drawn on Arthur Lovington. And our call is being real aggressive going to the basket right now. Drawing a few fouls here. They've got the lead in the foul category. I believe it's 5-1 to one now. Clayton Hahn gets called for that one. His second team's fifth. So it's 5-1 to one right now is the foul situation here in the second half. That kind of shows to who's been aggressive and who hasn't been on the offensive ends. Into the post, Schaefer has it. He fights it off, can't get it up around. Caleb Schrock gets his rebound, kicks it back off. Fischel puts one up, and it doesn't go down. Does he get the rebound, though? Saved it back in under his basket. It hit off Tyler Shuring. When it hit off Shuring, it hit off the referee and then went out of bounds. It's our Arcola ball under their basket. 140 left to go in the third. Arthur Levington leads 37-33. More hustle plays there for Arcola. Arcola still being very aggressive. Seaman tries to go with the left Hook hand. Hook shot doesn't go down. Seaman was able, they got the ball back to him. He put one up. We're going to get foul called after the shot. They're on the way down, I guess. Shuring's over in that neighborhood. I think it's going to be on him. It's two shots. Tyler Shuring picks up his third foul right as he's starting to heat up on the offensive end. That's the team's sixth against Arthur Lovington here in the second half. Colin Seaman going to go to the free throw line. Makes the first one. Colin Seaman had eight points in the first half. He has nine here already in the third quarter with a minute 33 left to go. Got a chance for 10 here. This would give him 18 total on the night. Knocks it down. It's 37-35. It's a two-point Arthur Lovett to lead. 133 left to go here in the third. And Arthur needs to be a little bit more aggressive, maybe going to the hoop or getting Shuring more involved. He's hit the last couple of shots he's taken. Caleb Schrock feeds it in the post. Shuring turnaround jumper rattles in and out. Great look. It just doesn't go down. It's rebounded by 21. Clayton Strader. Here comes Arcola with a chance to either tie or take the lead. Wyatt Fischel has it. Guarded tightly by Clayton on. Puts up a shot. No good. Goes after it. Takes it away. And we're going to get a jump ball. We're going to get a foul call. A little rough. Jump ball is the call. It's going to remain with Arcola. Starting to get physical. Physical play going on right now in Arcola. And the Purple Rider fans behind the bench over there are fired up by the hustle shown by number 12, Wyatt Fisher. This is shaping up to be one of those games is who wants it more. That's all it's going to be about for the next minute in the third quarter and the rest of the fourth quarter is who wants the ball more. Clayton Strader inbound. It gets it out to 20. Chase Strader. He's going to drive. We're going to foul. We're going to go the other way, it looks like, maybe, or no. Yeah. Wyatt Fisher called for the personal foul. He'll push off his third, team second. So for Arcola, you've got Wyatt Fisher with three. For Arthur Levin, you have Taylor Shearing with three. 
Two guys who you see with the ball quite often in some foul trouble here with one minute left to go in the third quarter with Arthur Levington clinging to a two-point lead over Arcola. <laughs> student section to our right getting fired up. The Arthur students across the way getting fired up. Caleb Schrock with it. Here's that drive we've talked about from him. We're going to get a foul called on the floor, though, against Arcola. And a hand check there, both hands on the player with the ball. You got to get that call every time. Freddie Moreno, number 15, gets the foul called on him. His first, team's third. 40 seconds left to go here in the third quarter. Three-pointer going to go up, wide open. Leighton Hahn knocks it down. He's got eight. Gives his team some breathing room. 40 to 35. Arthur Lovington leads. 26 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Arcola gets out. Freddie feeds it inside. Freddie Moreno gets it knocked away. Pulls it right back. Puts up a shot. Goes off the back iron. Nice, big, strong rebound for Colton Eakley there. He gives it ahead to 23. Caleb Schrock. We'll see if we see that Knight's patience with eight seconds left to go. Curtis Plank with it now. He's going to drive, turns around, looks for number two, Clayton Hahn, who puts up a three, kind of kicked his leg up to try and draw a foul. Referee says, settle down, fellas, and uh, tells the Arthur Lovington bench, he tells the Arcola players, shot didn't go down, calm down, no fouls. I'll take care of things here. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting I think, scrappy. I think Dale Sherry thought there was a foul called. He thought... He thought that was what the referee was saying. He's uh, we've got some confusion here. When he when the he thought the referee when he was telling the Arcola player to get up and kind of get out, clear out, and, you know, he thought he was calling a foul, didn't tell him to go back to the bench. We played three quarters. We're getting ready for a hot and heavy fourth quarter. After three, Arthur Levington leads 40 to 35 over Arcola on high school boys basketball on DouglasCountyDigest.com. <laughs> 